Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. Legend is a 2015 movie that was directed by Brian Helgeland who had directed previous films like A Knight's Tale and Payback and it stars Tom Hardy, uh, Paul and Anderson, Christopher Eccleston, Emily Browning, um, Adam Fogarty, Taron Edgerton and David Thuelis. And it tells the story of the infamous London gangsters, the Cray Twins, Ronnie and Reggie, who have um, had previous outings on the screen. Um, the, the one that sticks in my mind is the one that was to, uh, that uh, had the Kemp brothers in. Um, I think it was the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, the Crays, which I seem to remember watching and thought was pretty decent. Um, and this is, again has been one of those movies that I've been really wanting to see for such a long time, never got around to, and finally gone and done it. And really, I have to say, I really enjoyed it. Um, now, this story, it doesn't start from when they were boys or anything like this. You go, you go into this movie, and they're already gangsters. They're grown up, um, and right at the beginning, um, you meet Reggie. And then we're introduced to Ron fairly quickly, who essentially we learn very early doors that he's got a mental health issue. And when he gets released, um, he's ba they're basically told, you know, you've got to make sure he takes these pills. If not, you really got trouble on your hands. <laughs> and boy, do they. So it like um, charts their rise to um, fame in London in the 50s and 60s. Um, and it, 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 this film has kind of been accused of almost glamorising it uh, or putting like some kind of Hollywood gloss on it um, and I, I do think that there's a small argument for that here with this movie um, because it does kind of make you feel a little bit uncomfortable the first 40 minutes are and the whole movie is very good, but in particular the first 40 minutes watching it, it almost feels like a comedy at times. Because Tom Hardy's performance as Ronnie Cray is hilarious at times. Not in a bad way. It's just so unique. And it's funny, but you kind of find yourself laughing at it and then kind of checking yourself thinking, actually that's not really funny if you think about it. But the performance is. It's a tremendous performance. He does both Ronnie and Reggie, obviously. And they're both very, very good performances. But in particular, his, his performance of Ronnie Cray is terrifying on one hand and hilarious on the other. It's an incredible performance by Tom Hardy. Um, but like I say, it almost feels like you're watching a comedy the first half of the movie. Um, and then it does very go very, quite dark, the second part of the movie. Um, and that kind of puts it to one side, the comedy elements of it, because those are well and truly out the window. But I don't fully agree with the fact that it's been Hollywood, Hollywoodized or glamorized. Um, I do think there is a little bit of an argument there for that, but it doesn't detract from the fact that this is a very, very good movie uh, with incredible performance by Tom Hardy, who, who are playing both the Cray twins. Um, it doesn't shy away from the violence. Um, it doesn't shy away from any of the language or anything like that. Um, there's nothing really that um, you could point your finger at this movie and say, well, that was rubbish. Um, I, I couldn't tell you hand on heart if everything they showed in this film was accurate or really happened. I suspect there were some elements of it that did and some elements that they stretched the truths somewhat. Um, but that happens with such regularity these days with movies that are based on true events or life stories that you know I wasn't there I, I couldn't tell you if it was accurate or not but it doesn't change the fact that this is a very interesting film very enjoyable to watch and um, informative in a lot of ways because I I don't live in London, I'm from the UK, obviously, but I live um, up north in Yorkshire. Um, and I would imagine that the Crays are probably considered legends in London, hence the name of the title, which 
at first glance, when you look at it, Legend, and you look at what the film's actually about, again, the title makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but when you actually analyse it, the, the simple truth is, in some parts of London, they probably are still considered legends. So it's just a case of accepting that, really. Um, is, there, is there any real negatives of this movie? Um, I guess... Um, so it's it's a little long. Um, I felt didn't fully explain some things. Um, their rise to fame, I think, happened a bit fast at the beginning. You know, you get the first, almost like within the first twenty minutes. That's it. The kings, they're the kings of London. I would have might liked a little bit more of their early criminal life. Um, the voiceover by Emily Browning was a little bit dodgy. Um, who plays Reggie's wife, Francis? It, it was it was almost Blade Runner esque. The lack of interest there, and it it, would, it didn't need the voiceover because that you could argue that that certainly was glamorising it a little bit. The things she was saying, you know, almost Hollywoodising um, the Reggie, the craze um, antics. But other than that, I really, really enjoyed this movie. I highly recommend it. It was great. I was about to say great fun, and that's not really an appropriate word, but I really enjoyed the movie, so I highly recommend it.